This is Audrey Bisk with the Garden Grove TV3 News Report. So usually bullying is by one or more people. And here's the interesting thing. It's not done quietly all by ourselves. It's done in a social context. Pacifica High School held an event for students and parents to learn about what bullying is and ways to stop it. The goal of the event was to let parents know what we're doing about bullying, how to handle bullying at their in their houses, you know, when a student comes home and says, this is what's happening to me at school. Let parents know some avenues, some information. Events like the one at Pacifica are part of a grant the Garden Grove Unified School District received to increase awareness about bullying and help students have more access to mental health support. And so that really relates to bullying uh, because we're starting to reconceptualize how we look at bullying as not just a discipline issue, but also a mental health issue. Jeff Leyland, Garden Grove School District psychologist, says that parents should look for signs of higher levels of anxiety in their kids or refusal to go to school. You know your children best. So just trying, starting that conversation with your child and talking about are there any reasons why. If bullying does come up, that's when I tell parents to immediately open that communication with their school. And a new program that will come from the grant is something called restorative practices. It's something that brings both the bully and the victim together to talk about the situation and bring some understanding to where the power differences are and where the school can best support to kind of stop the bullying. For parents to recognize what that is and that it's not acceptable and it's not something that anybody or any student has to tolerate. This is Audrey Bisk reporting.